Hello guys and welcome to the first episode of my manager career. Obviously last year I did kind of touch on doing one. Um, I'm going to try and do more than one episode. If we do, then uh, that's a positive I guess. we got to got to admire the ambition. I'm going to try and upload a lot more. Um, it will mainly be FIFA, but FIFA 19, my year, even though I'm shit at the game. But let's get into it. We're going to take both of these. Fuck it, let's make this as easy as possible. Gonna do it with Blues, my club, 2.97 million, whatever it fucking is. Um, and then, obviously, we get the extra boost that I picked last time. Um, not too much they want me to achieve. Obviously, financial is a big thing, like in real life it would be. Um, but we don't have this embargo, so I'm happy. Now, we're gonna call this Giza Nev. Um, and his last name is gonna be Aldo. So it's gonna be like, Jose Aldo, uh, not really, but it's going to be Navalgo in total. I'm going to pick this geezer because he looks pretty sick, he's going to wear a shirt and tie, why not? I'm going to be English, usually I pick Mexican, just because I do, why not? Legendary, four minutes, easy, 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 and then this is a new feature that I love doing, right? We can pick a ground, now this one looks similar to St Andrews, it's probably the closest, 24k, so it's a bit smaller. But here's the impressive thing. I don't think we're going to be able to fit St. Andrew's Trillion Trophy. Um, but we can we can fit St. Andrew's, I guess. And there we go. We've got St. Andrew's in the game. That's mad. Okay, so straight into it. We're going to go for our advancing fights. You saw we had something like four points, something in total. It will be after that increase. So we're just going to go for as much money as possible. 3.34. Happy as you like. That's our tournament. And then we've got CD Tenerife, ESTAC Troy, and SC here in Veen. If I even say that it's right at all. Uh, we'll have to see what we've got. There you go, 4.25 is our budget, which is a lot of money actually, to be fair. Probably not as much as many clubs in the champ, but you know, what can you do? We've got first scout, Morgan Carter. He's found some players for me, but I don't think I'm going to listen to him. So that will be the team that we're going to rock with in the first game. See how that goes. Juki up top, Mags, Potter and Adams at the mid three. Davis and Gardner, and Gary Gardner that is, in defensive midfield. And in the back four of Pedersen, Dean, Morrison, Colin and Kushak. And as I said, we've sorted out our lineup. I'm not sure what I want. At the minute because I haven't used blues I haven't played offline so we're just gonna go straight into this game see how we perform if I I'll decide then what I need if that makes any sense I don't want to jump in and here we go kick off against ESTAC Troy um, I'm not sure how good they are what league they're in or anything their abbreviation is actually like 300 that's mad but well, yeah um, so I don't know what the score should realistically be as Magoma dances inside there Shay goes for that Bicey as everyone knows Bicey's are the thing to do this year but they've played great off the counter here Nivet going through Harley Dean trying to keep him out gets the cross away but Pedersen winning everything like he does in real life but they get the shot away anyway safe hands by Tommy K Davis finds a great ball into Hotter here. Hotter can find Mags. Mags looks across. Just about finds Shea. There was no one in the box. Ball played. Gary misses by a mile. That is really poor. But we nearly went 1 0 up. So, great play there from Shea. The turn had him off. I need to get better at finishing. I know that. Magoma. Pedersen. Davis. Gardner. Shea, beautiful turn. Shay, ah, it's just over. Alright, we've got the corner. I'm not sure any uh, corner tactics right now. I'm pretty poor at them, but Pedersen whips out. Juki, as I'm saying, I'm poor at them. Juki gets the goal. Beautiful header. I think that might be kind of a glitch at the minute, but great cross, great header. The man, the big man, the workhorse, puts us 1 0 up just before half time. It's been a great performance so far, I can't lie. And there we go, as you can see, we have pretty much dominated. Our shooting has been all over the place, been poor, 
but we have dominated the majority of the match. I want to get that pass accuracy up to about 85 to 90% minimum. So that will be something that we will look into. But I'm happy with the performance so far. Let's get into the second half. Straight away from Kiko Hot has picked that up. Magoma now. Magoma. We've kept on to this quite nicely, actually. I thought we would have lost it. Now we've got Mags on the edge. Looks for Pedersen here. Pedersen back to Magoma. Davis, one more. Hotter. Hit that hotter. Crossbar. So close to being two. But again, that's another shot off target. Here we go. Shane now finds Hotter. Hotter gets tripped. That's a penalty. Of course it is. Now I'm awful at penalties. So, uh... We're going to have fun at this. Who's our best penalty taker now, nowadays? Um, is it actually Duke? Okay, so it looks like Duke's taking the pen. We've got the arrow, which is nice. And um, we're going to just go for this bottom right. He saved it. I did say I was poor. Oh, Dukey. Oh, I'll just cross that back in. That's poor from me. That is really poor from me. I can't blame anyone for that other than me. But it's a shot on target, I guess, of the stat. Great ball across. Morrison's there, though. Dean Moppin. Come on, Gary. Potter. Great ball through. Juki. Gonna make up for that penalty miss, is he? Turns it. Hits it. Poor. It took so long for it to go that I hit it way too early. That's my bad. And he goes out for a throw in. <laughs> it's probably the worst shot I've ever seen. <laughs> they played a great ball here. Colin needs to stop this. No, they've hit it. And it's 1-1 like that. We've we've missed chance after chance after chance and they've they've scored. That is really disappointing. But Kevin Fortune, I think I've heard of him. So I guess Troy's can't be that that bad anyway. Morrison going. Morrison plays that through to Mahoney. Mahoney blasts it over. I need to get better at time finishing. I know I do. Okay, Hotter. Mahoney drills that across. And there we go. Viv Solomon on sport. Like that. Off the bench. And we've recovered that. We should have been way over. But it has taken us to the 90th minute to be able to get back into the lead. But thank God we have. Great ball across there. And an excellent finish from Viv. And let's not throw it away like we did against Norwich. They're playing great play here though. They want this. We can't, we can't throw it now. We've got to defend with our lives. Morrison nearly with that own goal. Jeez. Well, that was a great game to start off with. I was a bit sceptical. I thought we were going to lose um, when I first started. And then after that, uh, when they scored the equaliser, amazing. Um, I was gutted, but as you can see there, nine shots, three on target. That isn't acceptable. I need to get better. That is me, not the team. Now, we've got an offer for one and a half mil for Keith the Mill. And now, as you saw in the first bit of the game where we were playing probably our best football, it wasn't, he wasn't part of that plan. We've got a lot of centre mids. Um, and I want to freshen up the team a little bit. So I'm going to see if they're going to give me two mil. If they can give me two mil, which is what was recommended as the max bracket, I'm actually going to let Keith the mil go, unfortunately. As he is, he is a great player. But 28 years old, and he's not particularly in our plans. Let's see what happens. No, it doesn't matter anyway, because they're not willing to match it. Well, Keith and Belt's too good for you then. So the only changes from the last game, we've got Vivin in place of Magoma, and then we've got over on the bench, McFarlane in place of Vassell, who didn't actually come on. But you never know, actually, you know what? We're gonna make another change. Wes Harding is gonna come in in place of Morrison too. So we're getting straight into this second game against Hiram Veen, who are joint bottom of the league. 
uh, the group, I should say, at the minute. Hopefully, we can uh, carry on winning. Here we go, Davis now, looking for Shay's pace. Shay's on it, come on please. Beautiful rocket. 12 minutes in, Shay makes it 1-0. That's what he's playing. Well, the pace of Shea is blistering. Their defence was caught out absolutely nowhere. Shea hits that cross goal. He's not missing. Potter now. Finds Davis. Davis looks back for Shea. Gary. Ooh. Gary nearly hit him on an absolute screamer. And they're doing quite well here. Get through. Kushat with a big save. And there we go. Half time. Winning 1 0 again. Second game in a row, winning 1 0 at half time. I'm fairly proud. We have been a little bit more under pressure than the last game, as you can see. But overall, we are playing quite well. David Davis. Davis now. Shea. Here we go. Great ball across. Ooh, great volley. I didn't think it was going in because I passed it late. Was that McFarlane off the bench as well? I think that's McFarlane. I'm not 100% sure though. It's a great volley. Look at that. Top corner. Even though I pressed it late. Yeah, McFarlane there. Left foot. Top corner. Nothing anyone can do. Great goal. Great ball there from Shea. Was not expecting that. Now Max looks in. First time. Four shot. Straight down the keeper's throat. Ninetieth minute. This is probably their last attack, and they're gonna maybe swing that one in. They they are. It's a great block out. Get that in. Dean. Shea clear. And there you go. We've won the second game in a row. We won two one and two nil. We're playing some lovely football. This game was a lot better than the last. As you can see my shot accuracy million times better absolutely million times but again no troubles no troubles at all so i'm really happy with the boys so now we've actually had a loan offer for corey o'keefe and he's not really been in my plans so i'm gonna let him go hopefully they take him and he decides he wants to move there for a season get him some experience and hopefully come back as a better player and now for the last game, we've already guaranteed out of the group. So I'm going to play a really rotated team, uh, play some of the lads that aren't really going to get too much game time next season or be more bench players. So we've got McFarlane up top, Viv, Labala, Mahoney as the attacking three, Charlie Lakin and Craig Gardner as the defensive midfielders, Cogley, Roberts, Scar and Hardin as the back four and then Stockdale in goal. Well, the Probably the final game, game of this episode, CD Tenerife facing against the Blues youth. Now I'm not sure what's happened to these controls. Um, I'm going to have to sort that out. Play a great ball over the top here to get Tyrone through. He's dragged the centre back out. No worries because Dan Scar's mopping. Far lane. Tries the over top for Mahoney. Can't get that though. The break will through. I'm going to look at cross box. But Roberts, big head on that. Great play across. Stockdale with a big save. Get lucky to get on the end of that. But he doesn't matter. We've got an amazing counter attack actually. McFarlane. Got the opposition back pedaling a little bit. Lovely, incisive pass. With that one in. Can't get on there. We've actually wasted that opportunity so bad. Mahoney. Great volley. And where's Harding actually? And that's half time. It's it's been even, not really anything happening until the very end, really. So not much you can really say. I do want to try out Bogle. I want to see what he's like because I haven't. Keefton Belt needs to get some game time. And then we're also going to bring on Odin Bailey. Bring a great ball through. Stockdale's to the rescue. I'm not sure who I'm going to be picking between Stockdale and Kushak now. 
Stockdale's really shown what he can do this game. Here we go, Keith with a great ball through to Mahoney. Mahoney's got to finish it. Can't. Giving away cheaply here. They can run down the wing now. Look in the centre. Giovanni, great save by Stockdale. Well in. And that's full time. They've probably, Tenerife, I'd say, had the better game. Stockdale with some excellent saves, though. Um, it's actually fairly even considering this is our reserves and the people that I don't want. So we get through, and that's the main thing. People are getting game time. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy with how we're performing so far. And now I know I said it was going to be the last game of the episode, but we did make it through, and I want to get the friendly tournament out of the way. And. O'Keefe has rejected the low move, unfortunately. And we've got an extra 700k, so it's all looking good. So I want to go back to using my strongest team now, as uh, I've given everyone a bit of a break. And I want, I want to keep going, seeing what our best lineup is. A key mention is Stockdale is between the sticks. Now, that is because he played so well against Tenerife. I can't drop him. Here we go into the game against FK Mould. I'm hoping we can go back to winning ways, although we are unbeaten so far, which is nice. Then nice ball through the middle here, under a lot of pressure. And that's a rocket of a strike. Poor from Stockdale. But we find ourselves 1-0 down here after me hyping up Stockdale so much. I'm actually quite disappointed in that strike. Now we've got the chance. Break down the right hand side. Cross that one in. Great ball. Potter hits the post. Oh my god. And there we go, boys. That's the first half. I'm actually really disappointed. First time we're going into a half, losing. Um, and it's not a good feeling. I can't lie. As you can see, we've actually been dominated as well. I can't even say that I'm, I should be in the lead. We're going to have to make a few changes. bringing McFarlane back on because he made a real impact when he last came on uh, so let's hope he's the difference and we've got a nice break here McFarlane McFarlane plays a great ball for Gary what a save we got Hotter McFarlane great ball through again McFarlane's doing bits this season so far now oh, McGoma's looking for help Davis Potter. Gary. Adams wins a header. We don't usually do well with corners, but it's a great ball in. Shea gets his head on it, hits into the bottom right corner. There's no save in it. There is no save in it. That's pulled us back to 1 1, and the dream is still alive to win the pre season tournament. It's an excellent header coming in just under the keeper. So, Gary with the great ball through Magoma. Oh, Magoma, play that cross. Shea again for his second, just like that, five minutes after his first, and we're in the lead now. What a comeback. And there we go, full time. How we've pulled that back, second half masterclass. It's obviously the manager's instructions. And that puts us through into the final of the European International Cup. I know it's a friendly tournament, but I'm so happy with that. Great performance in the second half. First half, we need to get better. We've got a lot of prize money here, 1.1 mil. Happy, happy. And then Darmstadt, they want Charlie Lake in on loan. I'm going to let him go. Again, I want him to get better. Hopefully, he wants to go and move countries for a season final of the European International Cup we are going to start with the same lineup but I can see Hotter coming off quite early due to being a little bit tired and obviously Duke will have to come off from McFarlane who's been exceptionally good for us so far in pre-season 
Into the final of the European International Cup, we are facing Tenerife again. Last time we drew nil nil with our reserve squad, so I'm hoping that we can go much further with our first team set out and take home the jackpot and the trophy. Here we go, Hotter sends through Magoma. It's one on one, gets that cross goal. Great block, goes out for the corner. Oh. Oh my god. He nearly messed up big time there. Poor pass out. He tries to chip. Luckily it goes over the crossbar though. Magoma now sending Shay Adams. A great through ball. Shea versus the keeper here. It's that. Straight at the keeper. I need to get so much better at time finishing. I just can't do it. They try the corner out. Dean's got this. Poor, oh, so poor. Blocked it. Morrison, Costa, great save. Oh my god. Couldn't even keep up with the commentary. That's half time. 0 0 still. I don't think anyone can score between us and Tenerife. There you go, you can see. Been very even, very even. And we do need to change. I think Hotter is going to have to come off. Adams coming in to the centre and then Viv coming out wide. And there we go. Full time 0 0. We will. I'm not sure whether it goes to penalties. It does go straight to pens. So we're going to have fun. My penalties aren't great as we saw in the first game. There we go. Juki, bottom right. Save again. I can't take pens. Nano stepping up, he sent me the wrong way. Shea, you have to score this one, bud. Hits it across. Into the bottom corner, hits the post, though. Oh my god, my penalties are awful. Naranjo. Missed. Went the right way, though. Now, this one has to go in, Keith. Come on. So next up to take the penalty. Hit the post the again. Post. I can't take pens. Come on. Stockdale has to save. And that's Done the wrong way again. The the oh line. my god. Magoma. It's our last Loser. chance, I think, really. Well, Here we go. Scored. Straight down the middle, no though. Well, now, we have, now we have to save it. We have to save it. And he's missed. Now we need to score this one to stay in it. Viv, a lot of pressure, mate. And he's saved it. Of course he has. We can't take pens. We're awful at them. But what a poor way to end it. We need to get so much better at penalty taking. Because that is just awful. 2 1 on pens. It's horrible. Oh well, we got to the final, it's not bad, it's not bad, I'm somewhat proud of the boys. Okay, I'm going to have to end it here, um, because we've played five games, played the whole preseason. I've put some scout instructions for some new players in, I want a new defensive midfielder, I want a new goalkeeper and I want a new striker and I've put the requirements that I think will suit our squad the best. If there's anyone you think will suit my squad and my play style from what you've seen, then drop it down in the comments and we'll sort out what we can do with those. But as I say, five games, way too many. I probably shouldn't have played that many, but who cares? I'm enjoying myself. First video in a while. So I've been Nivaldo. Goodbye. He came to Blues and said, fuck off to Leeds. I want to play next to Harley Dean. We will reach the top and I'll never stop until we're in the Premier League. Christian Pedersen playing for Birmingham. Who the fuck is Hutton?